Hi, this is John Leone, and today we're going to be making Mama Leone's Free Deals. Uh, Neapolitan style from Brooklyn and then to East Northport. And it's my wonderful mom's recipe that has been passed down through generations. Uh, we got some basic round Italian loaves. Uh, we got some imported anchovies. We got parsley, pignoli, uh, garlic, shallots. Shallots are non standard, but we ran out of garlic. Uh, some Pecorino Romano, Lucatelli, uh, some Cento Olives, uh, some black pepper, some salt, some friadils, and there are eggs in it also. And uh, that's basically our ingredient list. And the bread on the right hand side is what we used. It's only three quarters of a loaf. I thought we needed more bread, but mom said that was enough. And what she basically did, she sliced up the bread, and then she soaked it in warm water. Uh, it uh, it looks like this when it's soaking. That's in the sink, and uh, it really has to soak thoroughly. First, you take the mouille out, the white part of the bread, and put that in the colander and start squeezing out the water. And uh, that's part of what uh, Skyler is doing. And then uh, here, I might for the next shot. There, that's just the end of the bread. Uh, the end of the bread has to soak a little extra long and it's drained in a different colander. And this is how you drain it. This is what Claire's doing. She's pushing out the uh, bread through the colander and letting the water drain into the uh, bowl beneath it. And here my mother is just uh, taking the leaves off the parsley and putting them in that uh, measuring cup to dry. And here Skylar is chopping up the shallots and we were teaching him different chopping techniques so he doesn't hurt his fingers but he gets it done and here's the two of them Claire and Skylar cutting up the olives in half my mother said the olives in half is a good way to do it gives more flavor the kids got bored at this point so they went out back with the dog and started playing <laughs> and uh, I grated some cheese and stuff uh, it's quite a bit of cheese about a quarter pound I would say and uh, that's uh, the breadcrumbs and the cheese is starting. This is where she beats two eggs and she puts that in the mixture. She says it firms it. I didn't know about that part. And uh, then it's constantly stirring in the parsley, the shallots, all the ingredients go in. The anchovies don't go in at this point. That was something else I was doing wrong. The uh, anchovies are for later. And she actually roasts the pignoli in a clean fry pan and this this way it brings out a different flavor and uh, here's the beginning of the assembly line the, the bowl that Janine is turning is the full mix then we have the olives and uh, here is how we prepare the fryers themselves you actually push in the top and then pull it out you don't cut the top off and then you shake the seeds into another bowl and then when it's cleaned out you go to the next one and here is my mom doing the, the stuffing production uh, where you can see the black olives, you can see the stuffing, you can see the anchovies. And here Janine is doing the initial filling of the uh, uh, free deal. What you do is you put some olives, a couple of anchovies, some pignoli, then you put the mix in, three quarters, and then do it again with the anchovies, olives, and pignoli. And then you put a little mix in and you got to seal it on the top and uh, here's the beginning of frying them uh, it's really remarkable frying these peppers with my mother she does it in like three quarters uh, flame and the oil was flying everywhere it was awesome and uh, they cooked really quick this way even though the whole thing took like three hours but the frying uh, something here here they're almost done and she does keep a lid on them the other day uh, fryer I was working and uh, and she switched pans again and this is just about done ready to take it out of the oil and uh, that's about it uh, that's how you do it <laughs> easier said than done I'm sure and uh, here's our crew uh, my mom me and Janine and uh, then the, of course our wonderful camera woman uh, my beautiful wife and, uh, and then what you've all been waiting for, the final results. <laughs>
we have one in a plate. And this is actually a plate that Uncle Mikey had given us. It was left over from one of, one of his restaurants or something. And uh, the, there's the beautiful Fridio. And the finale is the plate of peppers. It's actually like half of them uh, with my mother and me. We're all happy camps. I ate like six of them. They were delicious. Okay, enjoy. Have a good day.